Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious barbecue country ribs, y'all. Just in time for summer cookouts. Mmm, barbecues. It's going to be some good eating. Hey, Mountain friends. Hope everybody's doing good. Y'all, Memorial Day is just in a few days. And it's the kickoff for summer. They always say it's the Memorial Day is when... Uh, it's like the kickoff to summertime and we know summertime is the time for cookouts and pot you know that kind of thing um but i'm going to show you how to do country style ribs in the oven you don't need a grill for it so and and actually they do better if you put them in the oven because you want them to be tender so i got my oven preheated to 350 and this is these are boneless country style ribs that I got in the day old section at my grocery store. Always go check out your day old section in the back where your meat department is because you can usually get uh, some pretty good deals. If you go early in the morning, you can really get some good deals on uh, meat. And Lord knows nowadays meat is high, high as all get out, as they say, and um, you don't have to pay the full price. So I, this is gonna be simple. All I'm gonna do is gonna put them in the oven my oven's preheated 350. I'm gonna put them in there for about two and a half hours until they're tender to, my, to our liking. Uh, if you wanna cook them longer, do that. But usually about two and a half hours, maybe up to three hours, uh, I let them cook in the oven covered. And then we finish them off, put them under the broiler after we put our barbecue sauce on them and put them under the bro broiler to get a little brown. That's how, that's how we like them. So this is really simple. Simple as I'll get out. Um, I'm going to cover them in some yellow mustard. This is just some yellow mustard and a good amount here, probably about, um, probably about three quarters of a cup of mustard. Yellow mustard is what I'm using. Let me get me a spoon and I'm just going to coat, coat these really well with the yellow mustard is all you got to do. And I am going to be seasoning these with my Dano's hot chipotle seasoning. Uh, the hot chipotle goes really good with all the barbecue stuff. All any kind of barbecue dish like meats, you know, for your meats. I love the Dano's hot chipotle. And we like it because it's low in sodium. Doesn't have any sugar in it. And it's gluten free. That's another good thing. And I love that it's, um, that's made in Kentucky. I'm a Kentucky girl. Y'all know that. I like supporting small businesses. But uh, we had all, you know, we had looked around for seasonings that were low in sodium and just couldn't find any that had really good flavor. But we found these, uh, we found the Danos and we really like it. And hold on just a second. Let me clean up, uh, let me clean my hands off. So like I said, I'm using the Danos Hot Chipotle. They have different varieties. They have different sizes. This is one of the big ones, uh, bigger um, bottles. Now the hot chipotle, don't let it fool you. It's not like set your tongue on fire kind of hot. All right, it's a really good flavorful. Um, it's a good flavor. It's not really too spicy, honestly, it's not. And But it complements um, a lot of your barbecue uh, foods. Uh, and we like it on ribs and it's just so good to me. I mean, and got full of flavor without all the salt and the gunk in it. So. I'm just going to generously coat these. I want to cover the top with the seasoning. Now they have an original and they have a spicy. So they have different kinds, but we, we like, we use all three kinds, but for our barbecue, we love this because it's got all the spices that we were always using. Um, and even spices, if you be careful, um, a lot of spices you think you're getting just the spice and it still has a lot of salt added to it. So if you're watching your salt, that's just something to be mindful of. But I'm gonna put the link down for Dano's if you wanna try it, you can. Uh, if you use my code Mountain Missy at checkout, you get uh, an extra 
10% off. And I know it might be found in some stores and stuff, but if you use my code, you get a little cheaper than what you get in the store. And I will be putting that down for you if you want to try it out for yourself. So what I do, I'm going to coat one more, one more dousing of this Dano's Hot Chipotle. And that's it. They're well coated. Spread it out. Now I'm going to put a Reynolds wrap, some aluminum foil on top. Cover it really well. And that's it. This is really a simple, a simple main dish. Especially, I mean, it's really not a lot of fuss about it. And just Put it in the oven, put them in the oven for about two and a half hours. And when they come out, uh, when they get done, I will show you, um, we're gonna be brushing them with some Sweet Baby Rays and putting them under the broiler. So the ribs have been cooking about three hours. I like mine really tender. Just cook them till they can come apart with a fork. And now it's time to add the barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna do some Sweet Baby Rays. Cover them really good. So I did pour off uh, the juice off of my ribs because I thought it was a little too much. And now I'm gonna coat these with some Sweet Baby Rays. It's what we like and prefer. Do whatever kind you like. We're gonna go in the oven under the broiler till they're nice and brown. All right, y'all, the ribs are done and they are delicious. Fall right off the, well, there ain't no bone in them, but they're just fork tender. And give me some of that sauce. Mmm, so good, y'all. Delicious. 10 out of 10. <laughs> These are good, y'all. Hope you try them. I will be putting the link for the Danos if you want to give it a try. But these are good, y'all. This is how you make them that way they're tender every time. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy, just good eating.